I am in the rhythm and flow of ever-changing life. Awareness is the first step in healing or changing. When we have some pattern buried deeply within us, we must become aware of it in order to heal the condition. Perhaps we begin to mention the condition, to complain about it, or to see it in other people. It rises to the surface of our attention in some way, and we begin to relate to it. We often attract a teacher, a friend, a class, or workshop, or a book to ourselves that begins to awaken new ways to approach the dissolving of the problem. My awakening began with a chance remark of a friend who had been told about a meeting. My friend did not go, but something within me responded and I went. That little meeting was the first step on my pathway of unfoldment. I didn't recognize the significance of it until some time later. Often our reaction to this first step is to think the approach is silly or that it doesn't make sense. Perhaps it seems too easy or unacceptable to our thinking. We don't want to do it. Our resistance comes up very strong. We may even feel angry about the thought of doing it. Such a reaction is very good if we can understand that it is the first step in our healing process. I tell people that any reaction they may feel is there to show them they are already in the process of healing or changing. Many people think nothing is happening until the total healing takes place, but that is not true. The process begins the moment we begin to think about making a change. Impatience is only another form of resistance. It is resistance to learning and to changing. When we demand that it be done right now, completed at once, then we don't give ourselves time to learn the lessons involved with the problems we have created. If you want to move to another room, you have to get up and move step by step in that direction. Just sitting in your chair and demanding that you be in the other room will not work. It's the same thing. We all want our problems to be over with, but we don't want to do the small things that will add up to the solution. Now is the time to acknowledge our responsibility in having created the situation or condition. I'm not talking about having guilt, nor about being a bad person for being where you are. I am saying to acknowledge the power within you that transforms your every thought into experience. In the past, we unknowingly used this power to create things we did not want to experience. We were not aware of what we were doing. Now, by acknowledging our responsibility, we become aware and learn to use this power consciously in positive ways for our benefit. Often when I suggest a solution to the client, a new way to approach a matter of forgiving the person involved. I will see the jaw begin to clench and jut out and the arms cross tightly over the chest. Maybe even fists will form. Resistance is coming to the fore and I know we have hit upon exactly what needs to be done. We all have lessons to learn. The things that are so difficult for us are only the lessons we have chosen for ourselves. If things are easy for us, then they are not lessons, but are things we already know. Lessons can be learned through awareness. If you think of the hardest thing for you to do and how much you resist it, then you're looking at your greatest lesson at the moment. Surrendering, giving up the resistance, and allowing yourself to learn what you need to learn will make the next step even easier. Don't let your resistance stop you from making the changes. We can work on two levels, looking at the resistance and still making the mental changes. Observe yourself. Watch how you resist and then go ahead anyway.